Hello. Two men step in the octagon. Only one will walk out. Well, you got to count the referee, and if there's a big old melee at the end of the fight, you've got to count all those peeps, too. Hello, I'm Betty St. Laveau, and this is Octagon St. Laveau, where we talk about novice fever, octagon fever. Today, it seems that looking back over the past month, so much has happened. 2019 appeared to be kind of a quiet year, but it's slowly heating up. We have Mr. Chael's son in retirement. We had a big old fight between Tony Ferguson and Donald Cerrone. And then um, news of a Daniel Cormier-John Jones trilogy fight, which I'm not too keen on either of them, but um, props to both men, all right? Okay, so let's start off with... Um, some stats of Mr. Sonnens, all right? So I don't have the entire dossier on him today because I really talk about him a lot on the show. He's a good guy in real life from what everyone says. Uh, beautiful family, he's got a beautiful family, uh, nice to everybody, and he will fight anyone at any time. This is where we see that MMA is a subject of sport because you have to like a guy like this. How can one not also? He's funny. He's funnier as all get out, okay? So let's just um, go slow with this. We're going to talk a little bit about Chael more in the next episode of Octagon, all right? 29-14-1 are his stats. He was born April 3rd, 1977 in Westland, Oregon. His striking accuracy was 44%. His significant strikes landed in his career were 565 his grappling was at 59%. He had 78 attempted takedowns. His takedown average per 15 minutes was 3.78, which I think is awesome. His significant striking defense was 63 degrees. His takedown defense was 67. Oh, pardon me. His significant striking defense was 63%. His significant takedown defense was 67%. His standing was a, by uh, his significant striking by position standing, 170. That's 30 percent. His clinches, 79, 14 percent, and ground. Um, I believe that's ground, 56 percent. I hope I have that right. Height, 73 inches. Weight, 205. Pounds reached 74 inches. His octagon debut was October 7th, 2005. <sighs> Muscles of steel and all that sex appeal. You've got to give it to Mr. Chael. He just fought Leota Machada in a fight, um, I want to say it was last Saturday. I think it was last Saturday. And it's interesting that Machada has fought three men who were either on edge or thinking about retiring. A lot of people consider Macheda a dirty fighter. You have to give the man a few props. Number one, he said, I'm not going to get into a battle of words with Chael, I'll just lose. Yes, of course, we all know that. But the fact that he used his knee twice, I'm not into it. So I have to um, quell my uh, disappointment over how that fight turned out. But when the American gangster retired so gracefully and put his gloves down, what a class act. We all love you, Chael, and we wish you nothing but the best. Okay, we'll talk about you more maybe next episode. All right, so now let's go to uh, Al Kukui, Mr. Tony Ferguson, and Donald Cerrone, the cowboy. All right, this was a long anticipated fight. I, I wanted to see this fight. I watched it, and I can see how t Mr. Tony can make an opponent tired. Um, I tried to follow the kicks and jabs. I went to Weasel for the breakdown. Weasel gives great breakdowns. Um, um, and as I am checking out Weasel's breakdown, I'm seeing how Cowboy got into trouble. Now, during the first part of the fight, Tony and Donald are trading kicks, but at one point, Cowboy has his hands back. This is what I'm noticing. And Tony's kicking out, but Cowboy's attacking. And then Tony does his elbow thing, and he did it a couple of times, and 
I think that gave Cowboys some trouble. And then um, the second round, or at the end of the, fir end of the first round, Donald appears to be giving to Mr. Tony some trouble. He's not really. In the second round, it was all over. Tony, uh, he punched him. The bell rung. Tony punched him. The ref was too slow. I think Tony was in the heat of the moment. He didn't do it. I don't think he did deliberate at all and broke Cowboy's nose. And then Cowboy blew his nose, and the fight was over because his eyes swelled up. That's how I saw it, and I think that that's how it happened. So someone on YouTube said, Tariq P., uh, the lightweight division are straight up killers. Okay, and this is the lightweight division, and I'm very drawn to lightweight. Uh, everyone, almost every fighter seems incredible. None of them are afraid to fight. Um, Tony did the kick jab combo, and he did a round leg kick, and it was left to offset Cerrone. That's what Weasel says. Weasel also said Tony stayed mid, mid range most of the fight. And Cowboy was trying to land his combinations. But Weasel said, Tony, Mr. Tony was able to duck and block them. It's true. If you look at the Weasel's video, uh, Cowboy's coming out. But Tony seems to just, uh, the, the uh, punches glance off his ear or off the side of his head. So uh, Cowboy took most of the beating. Tony's jabs are very strong. Tony has an incredible punch, uh, as does Amanda Nunes. Uh, if you're a fighter, you, you want to give more punches than get their punches. Let's just put it like that. OK. So at one point, the fans are chanting, chanting Tony's name. But at the end of the fight, the fans are booing, which is a terrible thing. Uh, Mr. Tony has won something like, I want to say, 25 fights in a row. He's had 25 wins and three losses, and Cowboys had 36 wins and 11 losses. Tony's a former interim champ, and he's ranked number two in the world. However, at that time, uh, and M Mr. Cowboy Donaldson was ranked number one, which was weird to me, because how can the interim champ be ranked number two? I'll figure it out. Uh, great fight by both men. They both bought it. Tony's 35 years old. Donald's 36. Tony's 5'11. Donald's 6'1. And Mr. Ferguson weighs 155 pounds. And at the time of the fight, Mr. Cerrone weighed 155 and a half. Okay, and I saw that. It was pinned by Fight Corner and published June 8th, 2019. The tiny snippet of a fight that I was checking out. All right. Um, congratulations, Mr. Tony. You are. Um, He's my favorite fighter at the moment, my favorite active fighter at the moment, Tony Ferguson. OK, and Cowboy has been sneaking up on me. I adore Cowboy because, like Mr. Chael, he'll fight anyone, anytime, anywhere. A fighter like that is to be admired. All right, so now we're going to go into athlete rankings. Only um, three categories. We're not going to go all through, them, all through all of them. As of June 22nd, 2019, we'll do pound for pound. We'll do featherweight, and we will do lightweight, and we'll do women's bantamweight. All of these weights I am slightly obsessed with. Pound for pound, Daniel Cormier is the champ. John Jones, Henry Cejudo. Oh, pardon me. I was, Daniel Cormier is champ of uh, heavyweight. This is simply pound for pound. and. All of these people are uh, champs or interim. Most of them are champs or interim champs. Pardon me. OK, so pound for pound rankings. Let's start over. Daniel Cormier, John Jones, Henry Cejudo, Max Holloway, Amanda Nunes, Kamara Usman, Dustin Poirier, Conor McGregor, Robert Whitaker, Stipe Miocic, Tony Ferguson, Valentina Shevchenko, Tyron Woodley, and Jessica Andrade. All right, featherweight. Max Holloway's champ, Alexander Vol Volkanovski, Brian Ortega, Jose Aldo, Frankie Edgar, Renato Mokan, Zebit, Mongo Shapiv, Jeremy Stevens, Josh Emmett, Calvin Qatar, Nisaid Betek, 
Yeah Rodriguez, Chan Sung Yung, Shane Burgos, Ricardo Lamas, and Damian Elkins. Right on. That's featherweight. For lightweight, which I think is my favorite weight class at the moment, champion, Khabib Namagadoff. Dustin Poirier was the interim champ. Tony Ferguson, Conor McGregor, Donald Cerrone, Justin Gagey, Alec Quinta, Edson Barbosa, Kevin Lee, Anthony Pettis, Paul Felder, Charles Orizia, Gregor Gillespie, Alexander Hernandez, Islam Machichev, and James Vick. I love this weight class. All of those fighters I've kept my eye on um, for quite a bit now. Lastly, we're going to come to women's bantamweight, my favorite w weight class in women's. Champ, Amanda Nunes, Jermaine Deradene, Holly Holm, Katia Vieira, Aspen Ladd, Raquel Pennington, Kat Zagano, Yana Kuninskaya, Marian Rinea, Irene Aldana, Sarah McMahon, Macy Chason, Lena Landsberg, Tanya Avenger, Sejera Eubanks, and Bish Coera. If I've pronounced anyone's name wrong, you, I'll make sure to get it right at some point within the next month or two. What a great listing, okay? So, um, I think that that's just about it for me today here at Octagon St. Laveau. I'm your moderator, Betty St. Laveau. I simply have novice fever. I'm not an expert yet but I am planning on getting my yellow or green belt someday. And I love MMA and UFC. There are so many different types of fighting championships out there. The next episode, we'll discuss, talk a little bit about strike force and affliction, some that have come and gone and some that are here to stay for quite a while. Until next time, babies, love each other. Ciao.